In this tutorial, we will implement a pin code device. Um, if you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you want to access the code or the assets of this tutorial or looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Let's continue with the tutorial. Hello everyone, um, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make a pin code device. So let me first um, show you how to set things up. Um, so here, where's our device? Okay, this is our device. Um, uh, all we need is the field uh, to set the pin code, uh, set the pin code that you want to have. So for for an example, I just set a simple uh, pin code and this pin code can only be um, 10 digits long. Um, well, you can, you can make it, um, you can make it longer uh, there's nothing like stopping you right you can just fill it up but um, because of the limited display area we have um, we have limited it with 10 digits so it won't work it won't work properly if you enter more than 10 digits and if you forgot about that and you'll ent you enter more than 10, 10 digits the device will print out an error message at the start of the game so that uh, you know about it. Okay. Um, then you need to set the button to interact with it. So this is actually the button and um, we won't be actually um, using this mesh uh, to set the uh, pins, uh, to set the pin code. Uh, we will set it uh, through the UI. Um, so we just have a success trigger and a fail trigger. So if the pin code is correct, the we'll, device will trigger the success trigger. And if it's wrong, the uh, device will trigger the fail trigger. And uh, since uh, we are, this pin code will be entered through the UI, we have a pin code UI. And um, through these um, anchor and alignment values and the offsets, you can um, adjust the positioning of that uh, pin code UI. Um, right now it's just at the center so in this basic example um, uh, I have my triggers uh, binded to audio players and if it's success if it's a success I will just um, play a win sound and if it's a fail I'll just um, play an error sound so you can see that I binded it um, I linked these audio player audio players to their own trigger defend events of these triggers um, so, uh, let me sh show you before going to the code, let me show you what, um, you'll get with this pack if you choose to purchase it, uh, on our Patreon. Uh, so along with the code, you'll get the, or is that, so you'll get the, you'll get this mesh, of course, you'll get the pin code mesh. So. Uh, you'll get the texture for that. So this has um, three materials. So one is the buttons material. So this, um, so for the buttons material, you need to set the um, pin uh, pin code numbers texture, right? You need to uh, link it. Uh, you need to connect it to the base color. And then for the case and the inside, these are just uh, when you import it. These will be probably um, white. So you can just adjust it to any color you want so for this one i just select like black and red but you know you can do anything like you, this could be i don't know green as well let's try green yeah we can do it yeah, let's save it green for now yeah i like i like green as well so yeah, you can change these colors to whatever you want so you'll get this mesh and you'll get this texture and you'll also get the um you'll also get the pin code texture for the ui so this will be the actual thing that you are going to interact with and don't forget to change the settings of this texture to ui so texture group ui compression settings user interface and make sure that you have this texture under the textures folder. Um, now, actually, this is everything you need. 
um, to use this device um, so you just have these fields that you need to set but I'll also show you the entire entirety of the code so let's go from top to bottom so we define the max length um, and we have a helper uh, message construct here then we define the uh, each uh, like button on the um, pin device then we have a converter function to convert those buttons to the um, characters that occur to the corresponding characters then we have a helper class uh, for for a for each button on the pin code so this basically has its type and then it also has a reference to the main device because it's going to call the um, functions from the main device uh, so when you press on it uh, if it's a delete it'll just um, delete the latest character the last character if it's an enter it'll try to enter the um, enter the pin code and if it's correct then we'll uh, where is it so if it's correct we'll trigger the success trigger and then and then um, and then we'll close it so then we'll close the UI if it's wrong then we're just going to fail we're going to trigger the fail trigger and we're going to um, we're going to set uh, the text on the UI to say wrong pin code right um uh, but we won't close it so with the back uh, it's a back button we'll just close the UI with the exit button we'll just close the UI again and if it's a number button uh, and if it's the length is if length does not exceed the max length then we're going to um, just you know add one more character to the display screen uh, on the UI right so this is uh, this basically covers the entire interactions for the all the buttons uh again these are the editable devices that that i just showed you and we have an agent data so this is just for each agent we cover the uh, we store the canvas and then we store the, the pin code the, the currently written pin code um so this is our agent map that we um, keep um then this is on begin uh we just listen to the interactive events of the button device and there is nothing else to be honest um if the button is interacted we just display the if uh, we just display the we display the pin code canvas and if it's not created we first create it in here and then if it's created we just display it um, so here the most outer canvas creation function here we just position the uh, created canvas and then we call the inner function for creating the actual widget uh, for uh, creating the actual sub canvas that holds the you know actual widgets so uh, this is uh, that one and we basically from top to bottom we are laying out all the tex textures and the texts and stuff like that right for all the buttons we do that and so basically we um so basically what are we doing is we have this texture so we use this background and then we're making sure so we are setting a text uh, on here we are putting a text block on here and then we are like putting a button uh widget or all, all over these buttons on the on the texture <clears throat> uh, we are offsetting them so that they match right um, so we and to create the um, button uh, buttons uh, we actually um, use a another sub uh, canvas uh, another sub canvas so it's another function that creates the widget so uh, we just give it the type of the button and according to that it will just put some string on it this basically um, sets the size of the button so this uh, we can't set the size of the um, ui button with just directly with some side some pixel size it's automatically sizes itself to the to its content so to increase its um, width we need to put some empty spaces and then uh, increase its height we need to put a new line 
uh, and that's what we do so depending on the type we want it to have we want it to have a different size so that's that's why the difference here then we just <clears throat> we just center that but uh, center that widget on this canvas which is top canvas then we just you know use it directly and then we position it on the the like the background texture that we have and and actually that's the entire thing um so let me scroll up slowly so that you can see all of that um it's really straightforward since we have one uh like background texture we just uh make sure that all the widgets that we create it just aligns on that uh, background texture nicely yeah these are the editables um the agent data and then the helper class <clears throat> so that's where we handle all the interactions right and then we have the enum and yeah and that's it so let me then go to the, go to the okay let me actually uh push the changes uh, we have changes because I changed this changed the color of this so let me push the changes and then um, we'll return when it launches all right now if I come to here you can you can see the mesh and then I can interact with it and I can open it and then you can see the UI I can just click on stuff I just click too quickly okay you can see that it has a limit of 10 digits and I can like delete them if I close to exit uh, or back it will just close it and I can try to submit a pin code and you can hear the um, audio well, the failure audio player playing and if I enter the correct pin code then I get the success and and um, that's all actually this is a very simple device simple to set up simple to use but yeah it can actually increase uh, like it's actually can be useful in a lot of situations so that was all um, to access the code or the assets of this video you can check our patreon so thanks for watching like subscribe and share if you've enjoyed and also leave a comment on what tutorial you would want to see next see you later